Good morning, everyone. So the Lord has been speaking to me about Disney since March. And I have a few dreams. I have some visions, some words from the Lord that I'm going to share. And before I start, I just want to pray. Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Think through my mind, speak through my vocal cords. Let this be all of you talking to none of me. And I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody on the other end that is watching in Jesus' name. So the first dream that I had was back in March. And in this dream, I saw someone and they were dressed like a cowboy and they were laughing and they were telling me to look at what happened. And while they were speaking to me, I saw like some words. There were words written above his head. It was a curse word, but it had like X's going through. So I couldn't fully read what the word said, but I knew in my dream that it was a curse word. And when he told me to look, I saw these two large animals and they were fighting. One looked like a, a big red panda and the other one looked like a pig with like uh, two tusks coming out of his mouth. So the person dressed like a cowboy was walking like a cowboy and he's laughing and he's cussing like um, it was OK to use this bad word, but it really wasn't. And then I saw this big red animal kind of like jump up in the sky and then he hit the ground. And these like these two animals were just tussling, just wrestling with each other. Now, when I woke up from this dream, I didn't really understand it. I didn't know what I was looking at. Um, I did know that the red panda was from a Disney children's movie that's called Turning Red. And I knew that the Lord wanted me to expose this movie, but I didn't exactly know like all the details. And about two weeks ago, I was in prayer and while I was in prayer and worship, the Lord um, showed me an image of a blue animal with horns and I saw the word Pixar. So I looked that up and it was the same um, blue animal that's in the movie Monsters, Inc. And what the Lord was revealing to me um, was that the cowboy and the dream that I had was actually the cowboy Woody uh, from Toy Story. And he revealed this to me like two weeks ago as I was in prayer. And he was showing me that how some people use um, bad words and they think that it's okay. And children are watching these movies from Disney and people think that it's okay. The Lord was also revealing to me that the pig that I saw in the dream was a warthog from The Lion King. So he was actually just showing me like a collection of Disney movies and he wanted me to just talk about um, some things. And a few days ago, um, I was in prayer again and the Lord started speaking to me more about Disney. And the Lord said that he is not pleased with Disney. He said that Disney is an abomination. And then I saw an image of Tinkerbell, a woman uh, dressed at like the, the Disney theme park and she was introducing herself to children. I was hearing deceived children with witchcraft instead of asking God for things in life. Um, I heard turning red is demonic, witchcraft, and teaches children to be rebellious. The Lord said, this is not of me. The Lord said, their ways are not my ways. And the Lord was addressing Monsters, Inc. as well. He was saying, like, um, they're trying to, like, desensitize it so that um, people will feel comfortable with allowing demons to enter in their house. And, and it's not a thing that we should actually be accepting. And I want to read 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. The Bible says, do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. And the word devices, I looked it up, it actually means a plot or the devil plans this in advance. And I also want to read 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. It says, and no wonder for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. God hates evil and the wickedness that is being placed into this Disney content for children does not please God. Don't be fooled by the different ways that the devil tricks you and tries to make you believe that these things are okay. All of this programming has an agenda behind it and it does not come from God. And I want to read Proverbs 22, 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And also, I want to read Exodus 20, verse 12. It says, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. So this movie, Turning Red, is supposed to be for five-year-olds. And it teaches your children to be rebellious against parents and to lie. 
So when your child goes to school and the school is contacting you saying that your child is misbehaving, lying, is out of control or doing whatever else, it's because of what they're learning from these shows and these movies. The Bible says to train up a child in the way that they should go and when they get older, they will not depart from it. Teach them the right way now while they are still young. Teach them the ways of the Lord. Teach your children how to cast out demons. Teach them how to lay hands on the sick and heal them in Jesus' name. Teach them how to raise bodies from the dead. Because it says in the Bible that greater works will we do than Jesus. My children, they know the truth. They know that there is a spiritual realm. They know that there are angels from the Lord. They know that there are demons and there are fallen angels. And they know this stuff because when they see things in the world and when they see people doing things in the world, they know that there is a, a certain spirit that's behind it. And they will know how to handle it. They will know how to stay away from certain things. My oldest daughter, she's in high school. She was in class one day and she told me that the teacher and the students were going around and they were talking about astrology signs and they were asking everyone what's their sign. And when they got around to my daughter, my daughter told them that I don't believe in that. And then she asked them, do you know who created astrology? She said, everybody got quiet. Nobody could answer her. That's because people don't know the truth. They don't know the word of God. They don't know about spiritual wickedness and high places and principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world. Most people are just following behind what everybody else is doing. And when you come into agreement with these signs, that means that you are actually saying that you believe what it says that you are. You're not supposed to be happy on Mondays and then sad on Tuesdays. No, I am who God says I am. Teach your children to know who they are in Christ. Teach your children to stomp on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is our teacher. So if the Holy Spirit is our teacher, I never want to stop learning because I have the Holy Spirit inside of me. The Holy Spirit is always teaching me something new every day. And that's how believers in Christ should be in a place of always learning what the Holy Spirit is trying to teach them. The Bible says, quench not the Holy Spirit. Don't put up this wall between you and God because you want to follow your own personal beliefs. Let the Holy Spirit come in and show you the truth, which is already in the word of God. He just begins to show you deeper truth when you allow him to come in. That's also one of the ways that you'll actually know when somebody has the Holy Spirit in them because um, the things that they speak, the Holy Spirit will actually be speaking those same things to you. So it'll bear witness with your spirit. Remember, we are all the body of Christ. Jesus is the head and we all play different roles in this body, but it's all the same spirit that's working through us. You got the spirit of the living God up on the inside of you. You just have to know your identity in Christ and the power and the authority that he gave you. But you can't know your identity in Christ if you don't even know who Jesus is and what he did for you. You have to accept Jesus into your life as Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins and surrender everything over to him. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and teach you these things. Read the word of God and read it every day. Start building a personal relationship with the Lord so that you can start to hear his voice because he says in his word, my sheep hear my voice, a stranger's voice they will not follow. But you don't know his voice until you learn his word. So I pray that you all just start being more aware if you have children, even adults, if you're watching these um, movies, that you seek the Lord first. Because when you have the Holy Spirit in the inside of you, he will actually start to convict you of certain things that are displeasing to God. And you'll start to notice that your old desires become new desires. You don't desire the same things that you used to desire. Your desires start to line up with God's desires for your life. So I love you all. You all have a blessed day in Jesus' name.